evacuation orders for voluntary evacuation in effect for the west end of Galveston. Channel 2's Mario Diaz is live along the seawall right now with the newest information. And Frank, I'm at the very south end of the seawall here, near its uh, end here, or the starting point if you're looking at it to the north. Behind me, you can hear the waves of the Gulf crashing into this nearly 120-year-old wall. But just past here, just a few miles to the west of me, you have no wall, no protection. And if this track brings it over to the west further, that concerns many of the residents here. Well, this is our only shot at vacation, so... Come hell or high waters, they say we're coming. We're coming down. And down from Dallas to the west end of Galveston is where Paul Hopkins and his family came to spend the week. I'm hoping that the surge misses us, but we'll see. Deborah Pease and Steve Broom aren't sticking around to find out. We're going to head out to San Antonio. Broom's wife Deborah says they selected San Antonio when factoring numbers from the other storm society has been dealing with. Well, I pulled up the data and checked what the COVID numbers were and how many cases have been in Bear County. An appropriate risk is how they characterize their evacuation. Better to lose property than a life. This house, it, it, you know, it's insured. I'm not going to hang around. I ain't going to put my life in jeopardy. While some relaxed, others were. Some homes getting boarded up, others already having rolled away. Campgrounds becoming vacant. The result of those searching for higher ground. Do people on the island think more about Ike than they do Harvey? Yes. Rin Vargas is an employee at Nate's Seafood and Steaks, where Mondays usually serve up a much different crowd. Definitely not like this. Way more busy normally. While many have already left, including several seniors being transported this evening from a nursing home to a sister property in San Antonio, Vargas is planning on keeping life right where it's at. As of now, you know, I think we're planning on just staying. And there are others that are planning on staying as well, unless they are forced to evacuate. Keep in mind, Ike uh, took place 12 years ago here on the island. Uh, a, a wind event that was. Many people think of Harvey as the last hurricane, obviously making such a huge impact. But that was more of a water event for the folks on the island. They immediately tend to think of what Ike did here back in 2008. Live at the seawall, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News.